Tom Hanks' black son. <laughs> who's really white, but you know, he apparently want to, he wants to identify with a certain segment of the population. Hold on, this is the funniest story ever. Get out of the bathroom! <laughs> That's for people who are at home who I need to come back, you, you know how? <laughs> now look, Tom Hanks is married to Rita Wilson. They've been married for like 150 years. They're one of the longest running couples in Hollywood. We all know Tom, we all know Rita. Some of us know about their son, Chet. That's Chet, and he looks hazed. <laughs> There he go. <laughs> Chet is a gangster rapper. And can't no one tell me what I can't say. His rap name is White Chocolate. <laughs> I know. I know. I'm done. I'm, do I'm, I'm done already. Who was raised in Beverly Hills with privilege. <laughs> He was raised in Beverly Hills with privileged white. You know, Rita Wilson is no schlep as his mom. And Tom Hanks, we know him. He steps on the piano when it plays. <laughs> Chet has a black affectation. I can, I can even say black. He's got a, a, a hood affectation to the way he speaks, even though he grew up in Beverly Hills <laughs> and attended Northwestern University. And his mom, he comes from a fully functioning, very wealthy royal family. It, you know, Rita Wilson and Tom Hanks. All right, I am going to give you an example. Just watch this and you're gonna gag. Go ahead. Hey man, it's your boy White Chocolate, man. Pete I'm in the State Department, man. I feel like I'm in a secret Asian movie or something. Yo, hold up. Exactly. That's what I said. You can't be serious with this. I mean, B-Rad from Mal Malibu's Most Wanted was a character that Jamie Kennedy plays. <laughs> he's, he's not a real person, Chet, you cornball. Yo, yo, yo. What up, Dunn? Chet over here <laughs> with his father trying to be proud of that. Under no circumstances would I ever go up to somebody that I didn't know and just be like, hey, what's up, my... It's an unspoken thing between people who are friends who understand each other. Suzanne. Oh, I'm sweating, yes. <laughs> now you know. Yeah. I sit in your office, you sit in my office, mm -hmm. you know, we, mm -hmm. we're buds. Yeah. But if you ever. Oh no, I know. Oh no. Oh. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, like, really? Oh. I would never. Suzanne, yeah. that would be like me getting lazy tongue because we're buds and talking about... Suzanne is Jewish. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I digress. Back to Chet. Chet is the one who apparently lost his way and was trying to find his own way and make a new identity for himself, which I guess included racial identification and being able to think that he could just throw certain words around. So Chet says he's, um, he's had a rough... Now, can we talk? Yeah. Chet from Beverly Hills says he's had a rough life. And it's been a long journey for me discovering who I am because of all the pressures that I've dealt with in my life, you know, being the son of my dad and everything and just trying to find where I fit in, you know. And, you know, another thing is, you know, like that stuff I was in the media about, about the N-word and everything. You know, I, I know a lot of y'all kind of understood the point I was trying to make, but the truth is, it's not my place to speak on that. And I'm genuinely sorry for the people that I offended. Oh! <laughs> what I noticed in this video is that he said, at the end of the day. <laughs> like he used all D's. And then he said, y'all. <laughs> Chet, it is not right, it's not okay. People in the hood are dying to get to Beverly Hills and live the privileged life. And here he is trying to make fun of the hood with his yo-yo, you are a corn ball. <laughs> ball. 
there's nothing more insulting. I'm speaking as a black person. There's nothing more insulting than a white person who tries to affect yo, yo, yo. Now, if you grew up around yo, 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 like Eminem, who's from the D, Detroit, if you, if you grew up in a, in a particular environment, you know, then that's understood, you know? But to grow up, you, he, look, and by the way, he's 24 is what I would say. However, I'm sure Chet would say, if you ask him how old he is, 24. He's got a younger brother named Truman. No word as, as to whether he's black or not. Uh, but, you know, I, uh, Tom, Rita, what, do, what are you going to do about your bow? <laughs> Chet, I'm going to offer this one time, and you can take me up on it or not. I would love for you to come here and perform one of them songs that you guys. <laughs>